Creating a believable fictional world is more than just a flight of fancy. It's a complex process fraught with pitfalls. The art of world building, in its essence, is a delicate dance between creativity and consistency. It's about conjuring up a place that's both wildly imaginative and grounded in believable rules and logic. You see, a well-constructed world can serve as a rich backdrop against which your characters can play out their stories, making the narrative more compelling and immersive. But world building is not without its challenges. There are common pitfalls that can disrupt the harmony of your fictional universe, causing it to unravel in the minds of your readers. These include inconsistent rules and logic, information overload, lack of cultural diversity, and more. Over the course of our discussion, we'll delve deeper into these traps, drawing examples from popular fiction to illustrate how they can be avoided. So buckle up, fellow creators. Come, let us explore the labyrinthine world of fictional creation and learn how to navigate it skillfully. Ever been frustrated by a story where magic or technology seems to bend to the plot's will? That's our first pitfall, inconsistent rules and logic. Let's dive right in. We've all read or watched a story where suddenly, the protagonist pulls off a magical feat or technological marvel that was never mentioned before. It can feel like a cheat, right? Like the writer painted themselves into a corner and then just invented a new rule to get out of it. This inconsistency can seriously damage the believability of a story, shattering the reader's suspension of disbelief. Think about a novel where a character suddenly develops a magical ability in the climax that was never hinted at before or a science fiction story where the technology operates according to one set of rules at the beginning, but by the end, it's doing things that contradict those initial rules. These inconsistencies can leave the audience feeling cheated and disconnected from the story, but how can we avoid this pitfall in our own world building? One effective method is to create a comprehensive world building Bible. This is a document where you lay out all the rules of your world, whether they're about magic, technology, politics, or culture. It's a reference guide that you can turn to whenever you're unsure about how something in your world should work. This Bible can include everything from the laws of physics in your world, to the way magic operates, to the societal norms of your characters. It's a place to record all the details you dream up so you don't accidentally contradict yourself later. By establishing and sticking to your world's rules from the get-go, you ensure that your story remains consistent. This not only maintains the believability of your world, but also the trust of your audience. So as you embark on the thrilling journey of world building, remember this golden rule. Consistency is key. Your readers will thank you for it. Remember, consistency is key to a believable world. Ever felt overwhelmed by a barrage of names, places, and lore? Welcome to pitfall number two, information overload. Picture this, you're diving into a new book or series, eager to explore a fresh, imaginative world. But instead of a steady introduction, you're hit with an avalanche of details. You're juggling a dozen character names, five distinct cultures, three unique magic systems, and a timeline spanning centuries. Sounds familiar? This is a classic case of information overload, and it's a pitfall that can turn an exciting world into an exhausting one. Let's take a look at some examples in popular fiction. Ever read a book and thought, wait, who was that character again? Or what was the significance of that event? This often happens when authors dump too much information on readers all at once. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose. You end up more drenched than quenched. But why does this happen? Well, as creators, it's easy to get excited about the intricate details of the worlds we've built. We want to share everything with our readers, from the ancient legends to the complex political systems. However, it's crucial to remember that what's fascinating to us might be overwhelming to others. This is where the importance of prioritizing essential details comes in. Think of your world building like a well-prepared meal. You wouldn't serve all the dishes at once, would you? Instead, you'd serve them in courses, allowing your guests to savor each flavor. The same principle applies to sharing your world. Give your readers the main course first, the characters, the plot, the setting. Then, gradually introduce the side dishes, the history, the magic systems, the cultures. This way, your readers can digest the details at their own pace, savoring the richness of your world without feeling overwhelmed. Remember, while it's tempting to share every detail of your world, not everything needs to be explained at once. Allow your readers to discover your world bit by bit, drawing them deeper into the narrative with each revelation. In the end, it's all about balance. Too little information and your world feels flat, too much, and it's overwhelming. But just the right amount? 
that's when your world comes alive. Less can indeed be more when it comes to sharing your world. Does your world feel a little too monochrome? That's our third pitfall, a lack of cultural diversity. Now let's take a moment to talk about the world of Lord of the Rings. It's a mesmerizing place filled with elves, dwarves, hobbits, and men, each with their own unique cultures. This cultural diversity is not there just for show. It adds depth, richness, and believability to the narrative. It's a testament to the world-building prowess of J.R.R. Tolkien. When we think about Game of Thrones, we can't help but marvel at the vast array of cultures George R.R. R. Martin has created. From the nomadic Dothraki to the seafaring Ironborn, each culture is unique with its own customs, languages, and ways of life. This diversity makes the world of Westeros and Essos feel vast, vibrant, and real. But why is cultural diversity so crucial in world building? Well, diverse cultures make your world feel alive and lived in. They give your characters diverse backgrounds, which in turn influence their perspectives, their conflicts, and their growth. A character from a warlike culture will approach problems differently from one raised in a peaceful society. These differences can create interesting dynamics and conflicts, adding layers to your narrative. Additionally, cultural diversity can also be a tool for social commentary, allowing you to explore complex themes and issues through the lens of your fictional world. Take the example of Black Panther, the fictional African nation of Wakanda with its advanced technology and vibrant culture is a powerful commentary on Afrofuturism and racial identity. However, it's important to handle cultural diversity with care. Research and sensitivity are key. Avoid stereotypes and seek to create cultures that are complex and nuanced. Remember, each culture in your world should have its own history, values, and norms. They should feel as real and as complex as our own. In conclusion, a world devoid of cultural diversity can feel flat and uninteresting. By giving your world a variety of unique cultures, you can add depth, richness, and realism to your narrative. And who knows? Your readers may even learn something new about our own diverse world. A vibrant, diverse world is a more engaging one. Do your characters only exist for epic battles and grand speeches? That's our fourth pitfall, neglecting the mundane. We've all read stories where the characters seem to exist solely for high-stakes action with no time for anything as ordinary as eating a meal or cleaning their clothes. But in reality, the mundane aspects of life are what make characters and their worlds relatable and believable. Consider the Harry Potter series. The magic of Hogwarts is enchanting, but what makes the series truly captivating are the everyday elements. The feasts in the Great Hall, the study sessions in the library, the games of Quidditch. These mundane elements make Hogwarts feel like a real place, with a rhythm and routine that readers can connect with. Or take the Game of Thrones series, where political intrigue and epic battles are interspersed with scenes of characters eating, drinking, and navigating the challenges of daily life. These scenes give depth to the characters and their world, making them feel real and tangible. Incorporating mundane elements into your world building doesn't mean you need to document every meal your character eats or every chore they perform, but sprinkling in these details can add a layer of realism that draws readers in and makes your world feel lived in. You see, it's the everyday life that grounds us in reality. It's the routine and the ordinary that make the extraordinary seem possible. So don't be afraid to let your characters do the laundry, make a cup of tea, or simply take a moment to breathe. These moments can create a sense of normalcy that contrasts beautifully with the fantastical elements of your world, making the extraordinary moments even more impactful. So, next time you're crafting your world, remember to give space to the mundane. Let your characters live, not just exist for the next plot point. Because even in a fictional world, it's the everyday life that makes it real. Do you dread the thought of revising your world? That's our final pitfall, resistance to revision. Imagine this. You've spent countless hours, days, weeks, maybe even months, painstakingly crafting your world. You've named every mountain range, charted every star in the sky, detailed every cultural nuance of your civilizations. It's your masterpiece. But then, someone suggests a change, an alteration. The mere thought of it sends a shiver down your spine. But here's the hard truth. Resistance to revision can be a major pitfall in world building. Let's delve into the realms of popular fiction for a moment. Remember J.K. Rowling's wizarding world of Harry Potter? It wasn't built in a day or even a year. It underwent numerous revisions and refinements over the course of seven books, and even beyond. Each revision added depth, consistency, and richness to the world, making it one of the most beloved fictional universes of all time. 
Revising your world doesn't mean discarding your original ideas or previous efforts. Rather, it's about refining them, honing them, making them better. It's about spotting the inconsistencies that slipped through in the first draft, reducing the information overload that can overwhelm your readers, and enhancing the cultural diversity that makes your world vibrant and believable. Embracing revision can be challenging, but it's a necessary part of the process. It's like polishing a gem. The raw stone may be beautiful, but it's the careful cutting and polishing that brings out its true brilliance. Think of revision as your ally, not your enemy. It's an opportunity to improve, to refine, to perfect. It's a chance to make your world more consistent, more engaging, more captivating. So don't resist revision. Instead, embrace it. Welcome it with open arms. Use it as a tool to elevate your world building to new heights. Remember, the greatest worlds weren't built in a day. They were built, revised, and refined over time, growing and evolving with each new draft. Embrace revision, for it is the refining fire that perfects your world. Navigating the world-building maze can be a daunting journey, but it is a journey worth taking. Along the way, we've explored some common pitfalls that can trip us up. From inconsistent rules and logic, to an overload of information, a lack of cultural diversity, neglecting the mundane, and resistance to revision. All of these can lead us astray in our quest to create immersive and believable worlds. But remember, every pitfall comes with a solution. Crafting a comprehensive world-building Bible can keep our rules consistent and our logic sound. Prioritizing essential details can prevent us from overwhelming our readers with too much information. Embracing cultural diversity can enrich our worlds and make them more realistic. Incorporating the mundane can ground our fantastical elements and make them more relatable. And finally, welcoming revision as a part of the process can help us to refine and perfect our worlds until they shine. Let these principles guide you as you carve out your own unique worlds. Remember, there is no one right way to build a world. Every creator has their own style, their own voice, and their own vision. And that's what makes each world unique and captivating. So, don't be discouraged if you stumble along the way. Even the greatest world builders face challenges. It's all a part of the process. And with each challenge comes an opportunity to learn and to grow. So I invite you to share your own experiences and challenges. What pitfalls have you encountered in your world building journey? How have you overcome them? Your insights could be just the thing to help another creator navigate their own world building maze. Join the conversation below and let's grow as creators together. Until next time, happy world building.